Iman Gatsi has one of the cleanest looking studio set designs you're likely to see on the platform. Its sleek, minimal design is what makes him and his channel portray a professional look that to some would seem impossible to achieve, expensive to create, and simply not feasible in a small space at home. I'm on a journey to debunk those myths, prove you don't need a ton of money or space to create something that looks epic. By breaking down some of the biggest YouTuber studios, I'll reveal how you too can get their look for your own space. Base. Let's start by breaking down Iman Gatsi. Let's start with his key light. Now I can tell straight away he's gone for Rembrandt. And how can I tell that? Well, there's the old classic triangle of light on his shadow side. So the light's coming in from this direction at about a 45 degree angle. His light is slightly higher than the usual recommended placement. And you can tell that because he's got these dark shadows above his eyeballs. Now it's not a bad look what he's done, but by doing these dark shadows, he's stopping any light from actually hitting his eyes. So what that does, it means there's no catch lights. Usually you'd see, because the light's here, you'd see a little dot of light here and a little dot of light here. And what they do is they make the character, the subject, look more alive. So his positioning of his light is more like up here. He's got his softbox shining down like this. And that is what's causing the darkness on his eye sockets but also still giving him the Rembrandt look with the triangle of light right there and the rest of the light on this part of his face. That's one area that you could do, but also improve upon. Make sure you can get a catch light in your eye as it makes you look more alive. Light number two is his hair light and he's got this positioned, I think somewhere out of shot. I think it might be up here. Could be a panel light, it could be a tube light, but it's set to daylight to match the key light. And this is shining, as you can see here, on this section of his face there. But if I was to actually show you his second angle, you can see what that hair light is doing. It's causing this rim light effect all around his face, which is separating him from the background away from the darkness. And that is why he's got this hair light, it's for the second angle. You see, if I turn off that layer. If that was gone, without that hair light, he would blend into that scene on this second angle, especially with his dark hair. So it's definitely needed for that. For his main shot, it's not actually needed as much because he's also got his red light and his blue light, both acting side to side as another rim light. The blue light, it's highlighting this side of his face, all the way down there past his chin, and a bit on his arm. And then the red, it's doing his hair, his quiff, and it's also highlighting this part and his neck and his arm. So they are acting as the hair light in effect, but they're colored and they're doing a great job of providing added interest into a very, very blank scene. Usually I would say about props and how important props are. They are important, but he's got one prop. He's got his little light bulb there. Is it the B7? I think it's called. And that's causing the blue light. He's also got a, a tube light here, which is the red light. And let's say he's also got his microphone. That's another prop. I mean, that's an essential prop because that's what's recording his audio, but he's, he's making use of it as part of his scene. But actually the most important prop he's got is this one here. And do you know why that's important? That's his business. This is what makes him his money. And by having that in the corner of a shot in every video, it just drives home, this is me, this is where you can find me outside of YouTube if you want to take on my course, learn from the best. So having that in the shot is very clever, actually. And I should put my logo here. Work with me here or something. <laughs> if you want to work with me, just click this link. <laughs> on his second angle, there is no props other than the microphone. That is, that is it. He's just gone for the complete bare minimum look and it's really effective. He is the star of the show. You know, there's nothing else in the way. Just him, his microphone, just getting his point across. You could say another prop is his background feature wall. And this is a new addition for his latest video, which I'm loving by the way. And this is the thing that I wanna get for my space. I think they're so effective. They work so well with lights hitting them because of the shadows it causes. It's this slat paneling, it's the acoustic wood. These vertical stripes that just go on forever and ever and ever. And they create a real nice textured back wall. You can get them in almost any shade of wood and they add that real contemporary look to your set. I think they're really effective though. 
They come in like 60 centimeter panels, various lengths. Uh, if you want to go vertical, that is. Obviously, you could go horizontal. Most people, though, I've seen go vertical, and that gives the illusion of extra height because you've got your vertical lines going all the way through the set. And they also provide great sound absorption. So, you know, they're a great alternative to those disgusting foam panels that you used to see. These are the sexy version of that. So they might not be as good at doing a job, but they do an attractive job. It's a win-win there for me. But yeah, that's something I'm looking to get next and want to experiment with. And I think it's something that would level up any set. And even just doing a section of the wall could look really sleek, like what they show in their promotion material. The positioning of Iman is also quite effective. He's just gone for central, bang central. If I just draw a quick grid, you can kind of see where he's positioning himself, where his eyes are, they're on the important rule of thirds line. He's not quite central, but he's central enough for me. So he needs to go that way a tiny bit. He looks central to me in the shot and it's well balanced. The lighting is the same distance here as it is here from the edge. Something interesting happening here. Something interesting happening here set. He's in the middle and his logo's there. I mean, that's all there is to it. A really simple set, not much clutter at all. Just effective lighting that really draws you in, looks professional, and yeah, I can't fault it other than a slight tweak to his overall positioning. Go go left a bit more, eh, man? Just a tad more. And then one more thing to talk about is his clothing. I haven't seen many videos where he's done anything different other than wearing a plain colored shirt. He hasn't got Mr. Blobby on his t-shirt, has he? So he's not going in for anything funky here. If he was, it wouldn't look quite as professional. As we know, patterns and busy graphics draw the eye away from what's important. And what's important is us looking directly at Iman in the eye. And that is what he does so well. He is always looking at you. So his eyes are locking you into the frame. They're drawing you in and that's why he's so good at what he does he makes people believe what he says and that's why it's so important to lock eyes with your viewer get on that rule of thirds level because that's the the comfortable level for a viewer to be watching you at and just focus on them and having a second angle just adds that extra professional look that it looks like you've got a production crew with you some videos really can benefit from having it just breaks the viewer back into the video. And as you can see from this behind the scenes shot, it's very minimal as to the gear he's got. Key light, hair light, a couple of RGB lights. That's all you need. So there you go. There's Iman's set quickly broken down, real basic stuff, but hopefully you learned something there that you can take on for your channel. There's gonna be a lot more of these videos coming. So if you do wanna learn about other big creators and their set designs, then make sure to follow. If you wanna work with me, then look at the link in the description below and I'll see you on the next video.